Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create our React Native app using Expo CLI and we can deploy it on the Expo App Store. So as you can see, I'm on the website. So on this platform, we are going to deploy our React Native app. So I have a repo which is created by me and uh, it has all the steps from starting from creating the react native app to deploying it on the app store so i have opened my uh, vs code and in the terminal i will paste the first command of the first step which is to create the react native app so i will copy from here and i will paste so the command is npx create expo app using minus t there which is going to give me template options to, to choose from so here i will choose navigation with typescript which is going to give me two navs on the bottom to switch in between those two navs so now we have to give the name so i will simply give hello name to the app and it is going to locate that project files and it will also install the npm package so all of this is going to be done uh, automatically i don't have to write npm i over here so it will be done automatically so let's wait for a few seconds let it get installed until then i will tell you something you know expo cli is the best way to learn react native app for beginners I mean react native app building for beginners so yeah it is almost installed yeah now i have to get inside the hello folder and uh, we will run the commands uh, which is mentioned in my repo not over here so let's open the folder in my yeah here react native and we have that hello folder so yeah it is going to open it and uh, yeah in this terminal i will write npm i and which is going to install expo cli globally so i will write npm uh, i minus g and uh, expo cli so it will install the expo cli in our folders globally and after that i will write the next command which is npm start so which is going to start our emulator uh, by the way, I have uh, this Android Studio. If you don't have, then you can install it. Or if you want a video on installation of Android Studio, then comment down below. I will surely make a video on that. And here I have written that if you ha don't have um, Android Studio, then you can just install Expo Go app on your mobile. And uh, after doing NPM start, you will get a QR code. You have to just scan it. Yeah, these are the steps to install Android Studio. You can install it using, I mean, reading this documentation. Otherwise, you just comment it and I will make a video on that. So yeah, these are all the steps and yeah after that as we chose the uh, navigation typescript that's why we do not need to set up the routes so if you want to set up your routes by yourself so i have kept a youtube link for myself i will not open it right now so yeah this is the qr code that you have to scan on your expo go app in your mobile and then you are good to go otherwise you can just uh, type this uh, exp and uh, all the port numbers in your uh, input box in your expo go app and to start this on my um, android studio i have to press a over here so i will press a and it will start the emulator and uh, it will open uh, an app on my laptop screen so let's just wait for a few seconds yeah this is i mean i have given my mobile width and height i mean i have created my own mobile in my laptop yeah so it is open so you can see we have two tabs tab one and tab two and i can switch in between both of them and also we have a model over here which will get opened like this yeah so this is the app and if you get like this error then you again just press a and it will again reload the app and it will open the app again in your mobile i mean in your android it got reloaded and 
it is working absolutely fine so yeah in this app folder you can see there are tabs so there are two tabs tab 1 and tab 2 so we have folder i mean files of that over here the index is the first tab file and the 2.tx tsx is the second tab file you can see and uh, you can read all this code and you can understand it by yourself it's not too complex if you know react js then it is easy for you to understand and if you don't know then yeah it will be a little bit tough for you to understand just watch few tutorials and yeah you are good to go and this is the overall app view here this is the code of the model which is outside the tabs so yeah this is the overall app and let's start building so to deploy go to expo dev and make an account so i have an account i will log in so let's just go to that expo.dev and here i will just log in to my account if you don't have an account you sign up and then you are good to go so i will log in just wait for a few seconds and yeah yeah this is how the dashboard looks like i already have um a project which is an app which is uh, built by me for my father so i gave it name as papa ka business uh, because it was made for him to maintain some uh, i mean transaction ka details so yeah so that is the dashboard looks like so first command we are going to copy and paste it in the terminal create a new terminal and then paste it which is expo login now you have to log in in your uh, local system also right so you have to log in over here you just give your username or email id and then you just enter your password so after that it will log in you successfully in your local system i am successfully logged in in my system so after that we will go to uh, like next steps uh, which is i have to install the ease cli so i will copy and paste that command over here and yeah it is going to install that ease cli let's just wait for few seconds it is going to install it globally and after that we have one more command which is is build and uh, slash p android which is going to develop i mean build this app for android and if you also wish to build this app for uh, ios then there is one more command which you have to write which is is build slash p i mean hyphen p uh, ios okay so this is going to ask me uh, like what would you like your android application id to be so i just uh, by mistake wrote something i mean i wrote yes because there was a uh, step for yeah, to write yes so that's why i did some mistake and yeah now we are good to go we have to give yes two times that's why i was confused so yeah it will start uh uploading all this to ease and creating the project file uploading to ease and yeah this building is going to take you like a uh, half an hour or more than that and uh, yeah this is this has started building so we have to wait for it and yeah you can see that uh, a process which is go or going on in your dashboard also there is a link in the terminal itself so yeah this is the link which you have to follow to see your progress yeah here you can see that i have been waiting for 38 minutes 52 seconds till now and uh, about 1 hour 30 minute is remaining so i have to wait about uh, the deployment so yeah i will get back to you after that I don't know what it is taking this much time. I think it is asking me to take subscription. And here you can see that two uh, projects are getting appeared in my dashboard, right? So yeah, let it get completed and I will get back to you.
hey wait until then i will show you how this um, expo app works and how we can scan our uh, this qr code and how we can work on it using our mobile phone so this screen that is going on is recorded in my mobile i have downloaded expo app and now i will scan the qr code on the laptop and it will open the app in my mobile so it is building that android app so you can see it will take a few seconds to build and after that it will get opened in my mobile so i just pressed r to reload the app because it was not getting opened and yeah yeah this is how the app looks like in mobile phone tab 1 tab 2 model and yeah this is how you can work with your react native app in the expo app uh, uh, yeah expo go app in your mobile that is how it works so yeah finally the build is completed and it took around uh, two and a half hours for the building process and yeah uh, so you can see over here we have got a link which is dot a a b but we don't want a a b right we want dot a p k to download our app on any android mobile so i will just copy and paste this link over here which will create an oh i mean preview for our app and it will generate dot a p k link for our app so i have to again wait for a few minutes and we can uh, like track this record over here and again i have to wait for around one hours and i mean two hours over here so i will get back to you when this building is completed so yeah after waiting for so long the process is finally completed and it took around 10 minutes 46 seconds only and the waiting time was 1 hour 49 minutes yeah 1 hour 49 minutes so finally we have got our dot apk link or we can scan that qr code to get our app uh, i mean get that app downloaded in our mobile android mobile so yeah we have finally done everything and here you can see an install button and you can scan the qr code or you can share this link with anyone who wants to install this this app or you can install it in your own mobile also Whew, so that was a lot now i will just uh, copy this link and uh, I will share it in my mobile so that I can download it in my mobile and here yeah, as you can see I will paste that link and I will download it in my mobile so you can see the install button over here you have just uh, you have to just click over here and it will start downloading and you can see there is another uh, app that is already downloaded which is the papaka business app so it is completely downloaded in my mobile and let's just open it and let's just install it and here you will see so many options scan app or don't don't install app so just click on more details and install without scanning or you can scan it there is no problem in that and yeah finally this app will get installed in your mobile which looks like which looks like this so yeah that was steps from creating a brand new react app using expo cli to deploying it on expo app store so that was a really long video or short video what would you say let me know in the comment box so yeah that's it for this video if you liked it then don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos thanks for watching bye bye